Today's horror manga dub narration is Payback. From the horror anthology 100 Ghost Stories of My Own Death by Matano Anji. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this chilling payback. I hope you all enjoy. Huh? Throwing away stuff this nice is such a waste. Anything here that I can take home with me? That was when our protagonist grabbed a ragged doll, its eyes swollen and its body dirty. He stared at it intently as fear plagued his face and sweat dripped down his brow. Ugh. He tossed the thing up in the air as it flung into a pile of weeds, and then he uttered, C Creepy thing, and ran as fast as he could away from the sight of that doll. But little did he know, the doll lay there intently. One week later, our protagonist is walking about. That is when he notices something at a staircase. He takes a closer look, and it's that strange doll. And it's sitting there, as if it's just staring into his very soul. He looks at it intently with fear, sweat streaming down his cheek. Then he turns around, running as fast as he can. But little does he know, the doll is now smiling at him. Later that day, back at his place of living. Earlier, where we dropped the trash off, there was this doll in the garbage. But his roommate doesn't know what he's talking about. I think that it's following me. Could I have been cursed? A doll? What do you mean? Miss... Mary? Uh-uh. You've never heard the story of Miss Mary? The doll that slowly creeps closer? I isn't that different, though? I saw her right in front of me from the start. Whatever it is, I can't help but worry. That road creeps me out. I'm not going to use it. Maybe you should go apologize for throwing her. <sighs> the next day, our protagonist returns to that road once again, this time intent on apologizing to the doll. But as he makes his way, when he takes a look at the staircase, he notices... It, it's gone. After that, Months passed without me seeing the doll again. Running late. I'm about to miss an important meeting. All good. Should make it just in time. But that is when he notices the doll once again. This time in the middle of the road. Uh, so, this entire time, you've been... Fine, I get it. Sorry about before. Please, let me pass through here if you could. He raised his head slowly, sweat dripping down his entire face. But this time, instead of a smile, the doll had a sinister look, as if it had an extreme amount of anger toward the man. <coughs> <sighs> Sorry for being late. Oh, there you are, Higa. Glad you're okay. There was a rear-end accident out front of the office earlier. You were late getting here, so I thought it might have involved you. Hmm, I came the back way this morning. Huh, now that's a spot of luck.
I haven't seen the doll for some time since then. Didn't realize it was this late. Minami will probably be sleeping already. But that was when he noticed the horrible truth. Right in front of his front door was that doll. And it didn't look happy with him. Uh, in front of my own home. The doll sat there intently as he thought to himself. What should I do? I, I, I can't leave. But that was when he looked upward and saw smoke. What? Smoke? A fire? M Manami. He ran as fast as he could toward the door, grabbing onto the handle. But as he tried to open it, the doll was stopping it. It continued to resist the opening of the door with a sinister expression on its face once again. Out of the way! The doll tumbled to the ground. Uh, Manami, stay with me! <coughs> he ran as fast as he could getting out of the burning fire. But the door had shut behind him, and there lay the doll with tears streaming down its cheek. Was the doll really sinister, or was it just misunderstood. That's for you to decide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, Dason Animus, Minyu Wei, Rich Harris, Andre Wolf, Tanya M, Kago, and Voodoo. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.